Looks like paradise, doesn't it? When I started this journey, I didn't realise just how shocking and emotionally upsetting I would find the situations I came across. Living in the Western world, poverty seemed like an alien idea to me, and even my research for the documentary didn't prepare me for what I would feel when I came face to face with it. Poverty remains the central development issue in the Philippines, and despite the ambitious development goals laid out, the country has not been able to sustain the economic growth required to reduce poverty to acceptable levels. Tonight, you will follow me on my journey to uncover the real poverty behind the paradise. This is the jeepney, the most common means of public transport here in the Philippines. Today, I will take you to a journey with me to explore one of Cebu's slums called Mantuyo. My interest is in how the state of poverty affects children in particular and to gain insight in their day-to-day -day lifestyle. Arriving in Mantuyong, there is a large number of children playing outdoors. We can instantly see the effect of poverty in this neighborhood as most of the houses here were very small. Most of the children didn't even have shoes on, which emphasizes the lack of resources. As there are no facilities, these children play with anything they lay their hands on, and without adult supervision, this can be very unsafe. There are no proper disposal for garbage, so rubbish is seen everywhere. This causes a lot of health-related problems which most of the people here cannot afford to pay for. This reflects the fact that the state of poverty hasn't really improved much over the past years. To get herself ready for school, Saide, like most of us, washes herself first. However, due to her circumstances, she doesn't have the efficiency of taking a shower for she has to use the outdoor pump which supplies water for the rest of the neighborhood. It is also the source of income for the people who reside in that area. In addition, people use the single pump to do their laundry by hand. While it's normal to see women washing their clothes around here, I was surprised to see this 11-year-old girl do the laundry, as she should be in school, enjoying her youth and doing what normal teenagers do. This suggests that poverty is impacting the chance to be just a child. I was shocked to see that she has skipped school to help with the household chores. In slums like this, it is very common to find young children take up domestic roles as their parents go to work. This is a daily routine which sometimes gets in the way with their education. <laughs> this domestic role seems to be something that the children understand from a very young age. This was highlighted by a very young girl, probably two or three years old, completing this task. On our way back, we were greeted by numerous children, and although their lives seem deprived of a lot of things, they are still happy with their sense of community. This suggests that maybe money is not everything, and that the sense of family and community can bring happiness. However, that is easy to believe if you don't realize you're living in poverty. 
That idea brought me to my next journey.